Good morning and welcome. Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Tra- Patriot Trading Group and our toll-free number 800 951 The website at allamericangold.com and Welcome to Thursday. It is the day before uh, the newest, it, well, let's, I guess, call it what it is, the, the newest lie that's going to come out of our central bank when we get inflation data tomorrow. Uh, all Everybody knows it's going to be a scorcher. Uh, the question is going to be how much. Uh, but that is yet to be decided. I, I think it's going to be a big number. We'll see. Uh, I'll say this. It's not going to be high enough. I, uh, really interesting things happening and not good. Uh, so yesterday, so gas here is 539.9, 540 here, here all over Phoenix. Uh, you know, maybe you could get like uh, Costco or, or, or Walmart. Maybe you save 10 cents. That was last night, and I I was sitting on about a quarter of a tank last night, and I even thought as I was driving by, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm just gonna fill up in the morning. It, it's it'll be okay. This morning, the station next to my house, five fifty nine nine, so five sixty. So I said, okay, that's all right. Because the station near the work, uh, it, it'll probably still be the 539.9. Uh, Jason, uh, nope. 20 cent increase overnight. This is the second 20 cent increase in gas prices, at least here in Metro Phoenix, in the last 14 days. It's not like it's going up 5 cents a gallon at a time. It's going up 20 cents a gallon at a time. Yeah, we got 480 moving at towards kind of 490 right now. So you know, right here in downtown Johnstown, we have 480, which is getting higher. Wow, almost so every think day. about when I was just up there, it was 429. Yeah, it's 479.99. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just absolutely, absolutely crazy. So I fill up, and again, I wasn't totally empty. Uh, but, but it was over $70. If I had been empty, it would have been over $80. Uh, my wife, her car takes like four gallons more of gas than I do. And and uh, hers, it, it, just to fill up now, be over 100 bucks, And that's for the cheap stuff. <laughs> yeah, the cheap stuff. Yeah, Everything else is in the fives here in Colorado now, Joe. So it's just that that, that 85 octane you know, regular unleaded that's trying to hold below five here. And I, I don't think it's going to last much longer, especially with the way, uh, you know, you know, oil actually kind of had a pretty big up day. It's, uh, what, around 100, 122 a, a barrel now? Yeah, so uh, crude oil, about 120. But here's the thing. And, again, we, uh, Jason and I have mentioned this to you because we love to keep you educated. Uh, that price... Uh, it, it's very important, but the premium now uh, has jumped to over sixty dollars a barrel uh, to refine it. Because the issue is, uh, Jason, there's just not enough refining capacity. U.S. refiners right now are operating at ninety-five percent. That's like unheard of, uh, because you know there's always maintenance or, or repairs or something's broken. And running that high, hard. Uh, it, it's destined to end badly. That's why uh, Trifigiera, uh, Trifigiera, well, however you pronounce it, the largest com- oil commodity, the largest commodity trader period in the world, warns yesterday about don't be surprised about parabolic spikes. The problem that they said is after the parabolic spikes, right, after. Then all of a sudden, Jason, you know, you go into the depression and you get the, the, the parabolic falls. Yeah, Joe, I'm, I'm actually very happy in, in this situation that I'm, I'm working at the radio station and with Patriot Training Group because when I was a process server before I came on here, I was spending four to $500 a month on gas because I drove about 60,000 miles a year. So I, I would probably be around 800 to to $1,000 a month on gas if I was still doing the same job. It would be... Yeah, gas has doubled. Yeah. Here in Phoenix, gas has doubled. It's doubled in one year, doubled. Uh, energy prices and all that uh, really quickly uh, we've got uh, I'm giddy right now Uh, we've got a special that is absolutely 
It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. Uh, you fractional gold people, be ready. Uh, that's coming up next. Uh, last night, well, I, I, really yesterday afternoon, there was an explosion at a liquefied natural gas terminal in Texas. So something very interesting. So that's where, just for, for people, you know, because we got to learn about this stuff, that's where we ship out natural gas. So this is, would be natural gas leaving the United States, obviously going to go to Europe. They're saying that the, the, the terminal is going to be down for at least three weeks, if not more. Really interesting thing happened. Natural gas here in the United States fell on the news because they're like, hey, that'll just mean uh, less going out so the inventory levels make it a little better here. And then over in Europe, natural gas is now skyrocketing again, Jason. This this whole thing, it's its crazy. It's absolutely nuts what's happening in the energy markets. Yeah, and, and you know, with, with natural gas, you know, we use, you know, here in Colorado, we use far less uh, during this, the summer months because that's for heating. So as soon as we uh, get through the gasoline craziness of the summer and maybe the prices come back, well, then you're going to hit, get hit well with with skyrocketing natural gas to come into the, this coming winter. It's uh, there won't be a break from it, Joe. Yeah, there 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 is no break. In, well, there is a break. You know how it breaks? Demand destruction uh, is how this is all all going to end. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. When we get back, we'll talk about this incredible opportunity that we got this morning, and then we need to talk about jobless claims. That number came in, and it's heating up. We got that and more. Patriot Radio News Hour. Don't touch that dot. 800-951-0592. Uh, just really quickly, uh, crude oil uh, looks like it's going to turn positive here. As Jason said, uh, now $122 a barrel. Unleaded gas. Uh, this is a new high right now. Uh on unleaded gas futures now above 430, uh, 431, 432. Uh, natural gas, which had been selling off over this, expo- it made sense to me that oh yeah, right. Well, if you can't ship it out, it's it, it's going to add to some inventories. Uh, it looks like it, it at one point it was down 15 percent. It's down one percent now. Uh, oh, 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 eight and a half, almost nine dollars, and it looks like that may go higher. I don't know. It's still early, Jason, but uh, once again, a lot of turmoil in the energy markets, and I think all that happened was uh, that drop in in U.S. prices just had a bunch of countries start buying those contracts for delivery a month from now, six weeks from now, three months from now, uh, and it's got the price right back up again. Well, let's face it, Joe, if gold were to fall even half of that, 7%, you know, buying opportunity, right? So if you're you're a country that needs, uh, you know, fuel and energy, uh, you, you see that price down 50%. It's like, oh, all right, man, jump in, get it, right? That's, uh, there was probably a, a quite quite the, uh, the the buying opportunity. For, I mean, how many countries probably came in and bought into that, Joe? I mean, 15% yeah, oh, discount yeah, on energy? Uh, probably everyone. I would imagine every European country, every Asian country. Uh, so uh, in any event, uh, we have this. I, I've got to get to equip. People are already calling. We, we've got one. Oh, now we got two lines back open again. We've got an opportunity on some one-tenth ounce American gold eagles. I haven't even had them on the website for, I don't even know, six weeks, something like that. We are going to be, when I tell you we are going to be the cheapest in the country, it's not even going to be close. So I went online, went to all the cheap guys online. Uh, One-tenth ounce American gold eagles are uh, as low as, I love the, as low as, one one site, uh, as low as $283. And you got to buy like a thousand of them to get 283 Another site had as low as $277, you know, again, the quantity you had to buy. We, Jason, it's an incredible opportunity. You need to take advantage of this, especially in fractional. The fractional gold market has gone absolutely insane 
Uh, we've got about 10 rolls of 10th ounce. Get this. One through 49. So they have 50 of them in a row. One through 49. 240. So that puts us, what, 40, 35 to 45 dollars cheaper than the other guys' cheapest price. Remember, their cheap price, you gotta buy like 10 rolls to get that price. If you buy 50, which is a roll or more, Two hundred and thirty-five dollars, uh, and, and again, these are the golden dimes, the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagles. That price is absolutely ridiculous. It's one thing uh, to be, you know, think about it. You know, it's two hundred thirty-five dollars. So, you know, if you were five or ten dollars less than the competitors, that'd be pretty good. We're talking. Uh, some of these competitors out here, that price, if you bought 50 or more, you could be 20% less. Even the next cheapest guy, we're like 15% less. It's absolutely it's just a great opportunity uh, for people today at 800-951-0592. And, Jason, these things have been unobtainable. Yeah, I was just looking for some prices at certain places, and uh, there's not a lot of people even selling them. So I can't even get some comparison prices yet. Yeah, but what was the, you know for the, what's the price again? What, how much for one, and how much for the the volume? Two forty for one. Okay, so that would put a tenth ounce below uh, what a five dollar Liberty would be, right? And then uh, if you buy a roll, which is fifty, you can buy more. But if you buy fifty or more. Then you're looking at a price of $235. Uh, and, and again, as Jason said, these things don't exist. Uh, and everybody that has them, like I said, there's nobody in the country that I could find that was below $275. And to get that price, like I said, you had to buy 500 I on eBay, which is I uh, kind of the uh, the back the back market for for gold. Uh, nobody has no nobody has it. the closest thing they have is proof gold eagle ten ounce, uh, three hundred and thirty bucks for a t for, for a proof. But there's no raw ten ounce. You know, I mean eBay is usually just somebody on eBay's got something. There's always somebody. So anytime we can beat the lowest guy on the back market, which you know you can't trust eBay that well anyways, and. Three hundred and thirty for a proof, Joe. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's you're doing really good. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Uh, two lines are still open here. Uh, get them while you can. Ten rolls. Uh, it, it sounds like a lot. It, it it won't last. Believe me, it won't last. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Jobless claims. We got to talk about it. Jason and I. You know. You know. When you want to know what the news is going to be, you know, a month, two months, three months later, you listen to this show because we tell you ahead of time. Jason and I have been telling you get ready for the layoffs to start. Get ready to start seeing job creation fall apart. Uh, last week we had the, the on-time jobs numbers. Remember, jobs available fell by 25%. Uh, at the end of May, today, weekly jobless claims. Uh, weekly jobless claims, uh, remember, they were below 200,000. Then for the last three weeks or so, they've been just above 200,000. Today, Jason, another jump up, 229,000. So almost 230,000 people uh, we're filing uh, for jobless claims for the very first time. And then the other number in that that you get are continuing claims. In other words, people that, hey, it's been six weeks and I still haven't found a job. That number has been falling. Jason, this report marked the end of that. Now that number has stopped falling, which means, uh-oh, hey, I've lost my job. And getting that other job has been pretty easy. At least right now. Now, it's just a week, but I'm telling you right now, this is the start of the new trend, Jason. And that number is measured for uh, how many weeks? You said, is that six weeks or you still haven't found? Is that is that the continuing trend? Yeah, that continuing trend. So normally, hey, you, you file for unemployment for the first time. Uh, then, then all of a sudden, hey, when six weeks go by, you're still filing, right? Uh-oh. 
right? You're you're not able to find that next job. Wow, and then uh, and I, don't, I I remember back in the Obama years, you can you could have unemployment for ninety nine weeks. What is that, is that still where that's at? I mean, how many weeks can you collect on now? It depends on the state. So so right now uh, right now everything unemployment usually goes twenty six weeks. Uh, each state decides. Uh, the, most states, though, have gotten rid of their extended programs. Uh, so, but 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 that is done state by state. So, in effect, if you fall off the market completely in Dokia County, you might have to go uh, about half a year possibly before your benefits run out, and you're, then you're no longer counted because you're just not. And then they stop counting you. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Then you don't count anymore. Man, yeah, they may. Yeah, I bet a lot of states are shortening that one, Joe, because they don't want those numbers <laughs> to be what they really are, right? Well, and, and again, it, 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 this is what is to be expected. Uh, we, we've got uh, a lot of, of weird environments. You know, the, the rising energy prices, this is just going to put more, unfortunately, more people are going to be out of work because of it. There, it. It's just you have to get the money somewhere. Think about Phoenix. We're going to be 113 to 115 degrees tomorrow and Saturday I mean, we're talking about record heat. Everyone's got to be running those AC units. Uh, a lot of people, this is going to be, June's going to be the first real big energy bill. Wait till you see it. Whatever you were paying last year, be ready to pay 30, 40, some places 50% more than what you were paying a year ago. And, and, and again, this, you know, the pump up another 20 cents a gallon you've got to cut somewhere jason that's exactly right joe and and i'm just gonna you know i I got one more comment on the jobless thing so i I look at jobless claims and like i said they fudge the numbers i always think all these numbers that joe puts on it's like it's all with a grain of salt you got to figure out how to place that number so i i went to the u.s debt clock this is kind of one place i go when i hear your employment numbers joe and uh just as a flat number the u.s debt they have this number debt per citizen Ninety-one thousand five hundred eighty-seven. How does that apply to, to jobless debt per taxpayer? You know, which is not an exact uh, yeah, debt, debt per citizen. Uh, th- that's like the low number. That just yep. means, hey, the kid that just was born five seconds ago, uh, you owe ninety-one k. Right. De- uh, debt. Right. The 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 hundred-year-old lady, ninety-one k. When you do it by taxpayer, what are we left with? Two hundred and forty-two thousand nine hundred eighty-five per taxpayer, which essentially is who's actually working. That's crazy. That's three to one almost. Almost. That's that crazy, Joe. That tell that tells you how many people really are working, doesn't it? Yeah, and and again, uh, all of it just getting ready. It, 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 and, and and we're at the best number right now because uh, I've got this. And again, this is just what it's going to be. We're going to see uh, rates rising. Costs are rising. We're going to see layoffs rising. We're going to see issues with, you know, we talked about Medicare and Social Securities and the big problems there. And and once again, the COLA starts July, August, September. I think that's going to be peak energy time. Uh, These COLAs are going to be double uh, what they had put in these reports, uh, which just pushes the timeline for insolvency that much closer at a time when, again, right, uh, adding debt, which we've done for 50 years, is a, is no longer the nirvana that we've lo- lived on. These markets, this is what these markets have lived on, Jason, is, oh, oh we, we blew it up, I, let's pump it back up, uh, more debt, more debt, more debt, and now all of a sudden, because of inflation, you can't pull that card again. Yeah, Joe, I mean, $30 trillion, $504 billion is the national debt, it's a number that you, you, it's hard to even place like a visual understanding of. It's 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 a number that is it's just in a ridiculous place, and uh, when when currencies in throughout world history, Joe, go into ridiculous places, that's when they go away. That's why a great economic reset, and this is a worldwide economic reset, is getting ready to happen. That's that's why all the turmoil. That's why the shortages. That's why the inflation. It's all happening because this is what happens when you have to change, and uh, and you know the powers that be got they got to pull a magic trick and say, hey, here's this new system. Forget about the old system. Yeah, you know, we all hate it. Here's the here's the new thing. And then that's that that's the thing I fear, Joe, isn't it? The new one's going to be a lot more tyrannical than the one we've got. Yeah, exactly. It, and now, uh, you know, jobless claims, as an example, it jumped 25,000 in a week. 
and uh, the, the, the leaders in new claims. Let me just give you some ideas of the states well, that, that had problems with joblessness. Missouri, Illinois, California, Ohio, uh, New Mexico, Tennessee, Iowa, Nevada, uh, and, and the list just keeps... Uh, going on the the state and in, in the state with the best, I guess Oklahoma, right? The, not a lot of people are, are living there, but the part that worries me the most is New York, New Jersey, Connecticut were on the good side of things, but they put little notes in their report that said, "Oh, by the way, because of last week's holiday." Our numbers are a little bit light, you know, because, you know, they're blue states. So how, how does one day turn into a two-week delay? Why do I have a bad feeling that next week's numbers are going to uh, be even higher than this week's number? I think it's going to, yeah, I think we'll see that gradually going up. We know, we know during coronavirus that number went into, in, into, into orbit, Joe. It was crazy. But uh, here we are. Uh, supposedly we're past that and everything's getting back to normal. And, uh, well... Things aren't good, Joe. I, I, that number could go up every single week for the next few months, right? Let's hope not. Let's hope not. But I got that feeling. We've got lines open. This is the deal of the month right now. 10th ounce American Gold Eagles, 240. By 50 or more, 235. We just blew everybody out of the water. Yes, ma'am. One tenth ounce people. American Gold Eagles. And, and, and it's rare because, you know, there's a just like everything else. It, it's a competitive marketplace, and, and and obviously we're one of the leading companies. It, it, you know, we, you don't you're not in business as long as Patriots been in business, uh, in 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 not doing things the right way, and and it's shocking. Uh, there, this is how little there is. So we just got, you know, I don't want to call it luck, but every morning my girls are calling around, calling around, calling around, and, and uh, one of the bullion banks said, hey, I've got them. Uh, he owed us a favor. That's the other part about being in business this long. You know, you, 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 especially when you do things right, you treat people right. Uh, which, you know, one of the things, one of our big things here, you know, we treat everybody with, with honesty and respect. That's just how we do it. And everybody who's ever done business with us will tell you the same thing. Uh, that, you know, we, we do it the right way. Uh, and, and to be able to have this type of pricing when everybody else is either, I don't have any, which up until, here's the, I guess the funny part, up until 35 minutes ago, I did not have 10,000 American Gold Eagles on the website. Ken couldn't get them. Well, here's the thing. I told you we had 10 rolls. I I'm telling you, it's not going to be here long. We got seven rolls left. They're, the lines are open. Take advantage. Once again, one tenth ounce American Gold Eagles, $240. Buy 50 or more, $235. These are the, the golden dimes. Why is fractional gold on fire? Because everybody knows digital money's coming. And everybody knows that the government doesn't get this type of power without plans to use it. And a lot of things you're used to buying, this you're going to be hit with quantity restrictions. You're going to be hit with you can't buy it at all. And so I think there's going to be, you know, call it what you will. You want to call it black market. You want to call it, uh, you know, just the going back to barter. I think a lot of people, Jason believe that having gold and silver is going to allow them to get things that other people can't in the future right joe exactly and and uh, when you when you buy 50 of these uh one tenth ounce gold eagles you'll get the whole that's a full tube that's one of the reasons we do that discount because you get we don't have to count them or do anything with them you just get that tube f full and sealed and uh, five ounces of gold uh, in fractional form so it's uh anybody that's bought these before that has a tube of 10,000 gold eagles, they know what we're talking about. But if you've never bought before, and instead of buying, uh, you know, the, the, the 20 dollars Liberties, which is our one ounce uh, old gold that we sell, if you want the, the fractional one tenth ounce and a bunch of them, you know, for whatever, barter ability, or, you know, you want to be able to part it out, you know, give it to different children, relatives. I mean, I know a lot of people are buying gold and silver right now to uh, give it to friends and family for, you know, for, for different reasons uh, to yeah, get prepared. Yeah. 
So this is a great way to go. About when everybody else out there is between 275 to 290 to 300 dollars if they have them, uh, this is a huge, huge opportunity. So let me give you some more things about digital because every, almost every day now, there's new development. So yesterday, Bloomberg came out. Uh, they're in Europe, where all the European countries are, are getting ready. Uh, they, they, they wanted to give a warning about the central bank digital currency. And here's what they said. Without widespread adoption, a digital currency would be a complete failure. And this was very ominous. Because this is, I mean... This is absolutely true. And this is why the Europeans, the United States, you're, we're not going to get an option when it comes to this. This we're, You're doing this, period. Because it has to be that way. Uh, be, because if they, you know, go back to when they confiscated gold in 1933. They knew then what would happen. They're still going to buy gold. So you know what? we got to ban it. And that's exactly what they did. It was for 40 years. You could not own gold. Almost 40 years. You could not own gold in the United States. You couldn't buy a tenth of an ounce of gold. You couldn't buy a $5 Liberty or a $20 Liberty or a St. Gaudens. It was illegal because they said, hey, we need widespread adoption and, and so this was Bloomberg yesterday saying, hey, you don't get widespread adoption, it doesn't work. Which really means they're letting you know we're not going to have a choice in this. And then this morning, Jason, this was the one where I'm like, okay, the gig is, it, it, it's really up. The Bank of in, uh, International Settlements calling for the centralization of, of, of cryptocurrencies and is now predicting the rise of the central bank digital currency. And this is how it happens. Yeah, it, we're, we've been heading for it. I mean, I remember, I think but before I even joined with Patriot Training Group in 2018, I was talking to uh, your local coin guys, you know, I was buying and selling and uh, I got laughed at, Joe. I, I actually had coin guys, especially collector, coin collectors, which is a whole different thing than bullion, but... Uh, I tell them, look, there's, in the future, there's, there, we're going to get rid of this. There ain't going to be cash. There's, you know, coins are going to go away, and uh, and there, there's going to be this ultimate control over the citizenry through through the uh, your assets. Yeah, you, you can't buy food, or if you can't buy fuel, or if you can't buy things, you are cut off from society. Good luck, and that that is the ultimate control tool. And and things are looking really painful and, and crazy here out in the world. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a slow slide. You know, it seems like every day we have to deal with more and more small bad news just so we can get all, we all can get used to it. Hey, get used to the idea that things are going to suck. And then, uh, well, digital currency will be that. That will be the tool, Joe, that, hey, if you if you want to try to stop what's going on, uh, you want to get, you know, a group of people together and march on Washington, you know, like Martin Luther King or somebody. Oh, no, well, uh, you won't be able to march very far because you won't be able to eat on your way here. So I, it's yeah, and crazy. Man, I, I'm reading through the uh, Bank of International Settlements. They spend the majority of this paper just crapping all over cryptocurrencies, calling them dangerous, uh, saying saying things like uh, the only real support in the cryptos are the investors themselves. Uh, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, uh, people are going to lose a lot of money and, and all of that. So uh, what is their solution? Well, you guessed it. Central bank digital currencies and how much better that's going to be. They also updated near term how many central banks are going to do it. The number was shocking. We'll talk about that next. Get these 10 ounces while you can. 800 
800-951-0592, Patriot Radio News, our uh, gold uh, is down seven right now, 1845, kind of back where we were, you know, yesterday we were up, today we're down, you know, kind of floating around. We had the European Central Bank, they had their meeting today, uh, they, they, uh, they're behind us, right? They're, they're in worse shape than we are, right? Think about uh, this is kind of where I think we're going to see uh, the European banks start coming apart. Remember, this is exactly what happened in 08. Uh, those banks started coming apart, then our banks came apart. And uh, just think about uh, what happened in, in, in Greece, uh, what happened in Cyprus. I, I, we're going to see more of that again. Uh, I, I, I can just guarantee it. And then, of course, uh, the Bank of International Settlements uh, saying, hey, the, the central banks need to fix this problem. And the best way to fix it is to come out with the central bank uh, digital currencies. And they said it's becoming obvious that central banks plan to co-opt the movement towards blockchain and digital pro uh, products and exploit them, uh, giving more centralized power. I mean, this is really what it's all about. Their survey now says that 60% of central banks around the world are planning to introduce this currency, Jason, in the near term. So this is, you know, near-term and central bank, that's 12 to 24 months. Joe, I, I really believe that the digital currency worldwide will be used as the fix for the problem, the ba the major problem that's coming. Whatever whatever it gets to be, uh, every single person in the world knows that it's uh, whatever the big problem, whether it be a, a social or military, uh, global, you know, politics, uh, whatever, that, whatever the big emergency is, another coronavirus, whatever sets the markets into a complete tumble, I think they they roll the digital currency in as the solution to fix things, and Joe, I, I I look at these you know especially before I came on to a Patriot Trading Group, I would look on some comparison price sites uh, for gold and silver that I was selling because I was I actually would um, on, on a very small end I would sell gold and silver on the side to make money, and I needed to know where to price it. You know, I, if I wasn't competitive at all, I, I might as well not sell the items. So I. When coronavirus showed up in 2020, the comparison prices on silver started to have these little red lines and red things saying that, yeah, well, nobody really has it. We're giving you prices just for convenience, but nobody has it. I'm at the uh, comparison uh, place I go to to look at gold. It says right here at the top, note, almost all dealers are out of inventory at this time due to extreme shortages. Pricing is provided for convenience if available. And then gold down seven dollars today, Joe, makes no sense at all. It's going to go up, and it's going to be going up pretty quickly here in the near future, Joe. Yeah, I, I agree. The the paper markets, uh, and again, I know Wall Street wants to believe that there's a way out of this, but the, again, this is very much really. Uh, I remember going back to two thousand seven, and that was you know Eric and I were doing this show, and and Ben Bernanke was talking about froth and he was talking about raising rates uh, and and this was August of 07 and by what was it March of the following year Lehman Brothers had collapsed and Bear Stearns went under and yet the Dow was at all-time record highs six months prior to that this feels very very similar here I think it is very similar I think you're gonna see uh, certain large companies and you know I I just mentioned it just because Michael Burry is one of those guys that, you know, he, he predicts some of the gloom and doom before it happens, and he's been right many times. And, uh, he, you know, he even say, he just kind of mentioned, hey, possible, hey, Apple could just go bankrupt. I mean, just, just the mention of that. You know, that's that's one of those things, Joe. If you, you know, it's hard to remember back when, hey, Lehman Brothers is going to go out of business. Before it happened, people would have thought you were nuts. You know, you you talk about Eric. You talk about how GM was going to have problems way ahead of time, and, and he he was right. I mean, these these things do happen, Joe. You know, it's hard to predict them. It's hard hard to know what's going to exactly happen. Uh, the timing of it. You know, here's the thing: you can predict what the markets are going to do. It's just the timing. It's just hard to predict when it's going to happen, Joe. So we just try to get people. Uh, how many times have I said it's better to be one year ahead than one day too late, right? Yeah, well, and, and again, that's uh, always the great way. We don't know. You never know the day. I, w I wish they'd call you ahead of time, right, and, and tell you. And, and then, 
you know, a lot of people just aren't prepared. Uh, they, they've been given terrible advice uh, over the years. I know, uh, you know, my son Joey, people are up in arms because the people that they chose to trust with their retirement money uh, have left them terribly, terribly vulnerable uh, in this market. And we look at this market, got to remember, yeah, the Dow still says 32,000, but really the vast majority of, of the stocks are getting their backsides kicked in. And I'll say this, in the next couple of weeks, everyone's going to be getting their 401k statements, and it's going to be really ugly looking, Jason. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know how the whole thing is going to go down. You know, nobody really does, but it's definitely going to be market chaos. There's going to be uh, food shortages that are already happening, getting worse. Gas prices will go higher. The inflation won't stop for a long time if it does at all. I mean, we've had inflation now basically since the Federal Reserve's been here. We've had inflation. Inflation is a permanent fixture, but now we're talking worse inflation that might happen constantly for for here on out we might have four or five percent as being the low number forever because they have a debt that's so high that there's, there's got to have some way to to uh account for their uh, here, here's ridiculous what i promise thing. you 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 wouldn't be paying five six seven eight dollars for gasoline if the federal reserve was doing their job it's ridiculous it's a joke that interest rates are at three quarters of a percent, the Fed's funds rate. Oh, and we're going to wait every six weeks, and then we're going to just go another 50 basis points. That's ridiculous. They can meet right now and just say Fed funds rate's now 2% or Fed funds rate's now 3%. I promise you, energy prices would stop going up. The problem is Wall Street would crash and banks would go under. Paper Radio News Hour. 10th ounce American Gold Eagles. I can't stress it enough. This is the opportunity of the summer. 800 951 Final segment coming up. 800 951 I know it's technically not even summer yet. you got a couple more weeks. But when it's going to be 113 to 115 degrees, I'm calling it summertime. Uh, one tenth ounce American Gold Eagles. This is... I can't, I, I don't know how else to say it. it when you can be $40 a coin less on a 10th ounce than, than the guys that, are, you know, I'm the cheap internet guy. That's value. We're the cheapest in the country. One tenth ounce American Gold Eagles, $240. If you buy a roll or more, they're 50 in a roll. They're $235. We've got a little over five rolls still remaining at 800 951 And here's what's going to happen. We sell them, and um, they're going to go off the website again. That's just how it's go going to be. And, and I'm sitting there, and, and, and so many people locked up right now. Well, I'm just not going to do anything. I don't know what to do. That's the worst thing you can do. Uh, because Jason, that uh, it always ends up happening. Like you said, one day too long uh, before you react. You know what you need to do. There's guys out there that got a million dollars in the bank and think they're smart. Well, I'm not in Wall Street because I'm smart. I got it in my bank. Believe me, you'll be lucky if you end up with a hundred grand after the digital money comes in. The bank bailouts are coming. It's a certainty. We've now heard from the IMF, the Bank of International Settlements. Uh, we've heard from all the major players in the world. And now we learn from the Bank of International Settlements, 60% of the world's central banks are getting ready for their digital currency, and they put it near term. People need to understand, Joe, it's things that are holding value right now. Everything else is, is having trouble. Things that you hold on to are actually holding, you know, are, are, are keeping the value of your money in place. One ten thousand gold uh, eagles, Atmex. Now we don't talk about the competition. Atmex unavailable, no price. Kitco, no price, unavailable. JM Bullion, uh, two hundred eighty-four dollars before taxes and shipping, if they have it. Uh, all these companies, Joe, uh, Silver.com, two hundred eighty-four dollars before shipping and taxes. Everybody is way above these if they even have them. Why well, do I get the feeling if you call some of these companies anyway, they have a price, 
uh, what I feel like the waiting time might be a, a little extreme. We'll get them to you in three months or maybe uh, maybe six weeks, eight weeks, maybe. Right, Joe? Yeah, we'll have these coins physically in our possession uh, this time next week. So uh, they're ready to go. Uh, are they're, they're sitting in the lock cage at the Bullion Bank exclusively here at Patriot Trading Group, 800 951 zero five nine two and again outside of 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 the new bail-in laws on these banks think about what the digital currency means simply just means that they can limit whatever they want you're only allowed one can of baby formula a, a week you're only allowed 10 pounds of beef you're only allowed one box of two two three or five five six ammo uh you you're not even allowed you're banned from buying uh this particular item because uh it's bad for the environment or or whatever it may be uh on top of the fact that anybody that actually has money in the bank get ready not to have it 800 951 